to be Hey there, this is Bruce Lee Money from Thermal and a Quarter and welcome to another episode of Song Stories, Quarantine Edition. Today we'll talk about the song Simply Be, which was initially released as a single and then made it onto our triple disc album Three Wheels Nine Lives. I've also got to welcome a special guest, passed out in the corner over there is Toffee. He doesn't look like he's going to be much of a distraction in the shape he's in right now, so let's just let him be. For inexplicable reasons, certain words, ideas, phrases, songs, snatches of a tune, they lodge in your mind and never quite go away. Well, I did my primary schooling uh, in a place called The Home School in Bangalore. No, I wasn't homeschooled. It was a school called The Home School. Uh, it was a venerable institution set up by, I think, some Australian missionaries who had come down to Bangalore in the late 1800s or something. Uh, it was set up in a wonderful old colonial bungalow in the Basanguri area. Uh, and I have some very fond memories of, of being there. Uh, any homeschool alumni that happen to watch this, please say hello in the comments. And it'd be great to hear from you guys. So yes, the homeschool. I, back then I had a friend, a chap called Sanjay, who had a unique way of dealing with uh, anyone who happened to be you know, tormenting or annoying him. Which, as a bunch of bratty ten-year-olds, we were doing to ourselves pretty much constantly at the time. So Sanjay would turn to his, uh, his tormentor and say with some force, Hey, simply be man! You know, which was, yeah, which probably brought a respite of a few seconds when people laughed and giggled and just continued with the annoyance after that. But that, that simply be sort of lodged in my head and I think it was... Uh, and it bounced around for, for many, many years before I perhaps accumulated enough life experience to finally see it for what it was. It was a, it was a minor philosophical triumph. I mean, integrating existentialism, Buddhism, Stoicism in a two-word epithet. Man, Sanjay, wherever you are, give yourself a pat on the back. I, I hope you're doing safe and well in these, in these crazy times. Simply be. So cut to circa 2006 and we just returned from our first UK tour after playing gigs in Glasgow and London. A tour that was quite an unqualified success in many ways. We got five star reviews in the local newspapers and all that. But uh, we didn't come back international superstars or anything. And uh, after, you know, getting back to Bangalore and getting back to our jobs and balancing work and band and all that stuff. Yeah, it was a bit of a reality check in a way and I think that was around, it was around then that I put down the lyrics for Simply Be because it seemed a good time to be in the moment and not worry about what went before and what's to come. The first iterations of the song were quite different from what's on the recording. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think one of the ideas went like this. If the ground is a hard place, stay a little The sky is full of rain, the trees will love it. The sun it takes too long, don't forget to enjoy it. And if you don't get to where you're going, it's where you've got to be. Something like that. But then of course when we were jamming it and it transformed into the riff that it is now, which is a... things that we worked on at that point, uh, with Rudy especially, uh, the riffs would just morph into this odd meter 7, 7x4, seven 7x8 seven by seven by thing. It just happened so much. Just kind of very organic uh, how that happened. And this was no different. Uh, it is, uh, you know, uh, in, the, in that 7 meter. And of course Rajiv plays just a straight groove on it, which is what kind of makes it really propulsive and so on. Uh, it's always been such a fun song to play. I remember one of the first times we played Simply Be at an international gig was in Dubai uh, around 2007. Um, we, had, we had a couple of gigs, I think there was one in Dubai and one in Bahrain. And the strange thing that happened was the, the night before we were supposed to leave, uh, Rudy had some issue with his visa and he, and he couldn't fly. Uh, Tony was part of the band back then and uh, we just had to shift bass duties to Tony and play the gig with Tony as the bass player. 
I remember playing Simply Be, it was one of the, uh, I think one of the first few gigs that we had played it and it went down really, really well and the thing I remember very vividly from that gig is this whole, when we were playing the song, is this whole sort of chorus line forming in front with all these, you know, men and women forming this big, you know, like a Broadway chorus line and then doing the whole dance and kick thing, <laughs> which, is, which is hilarious. Uh, and they, some of them were getting a little thrown because, you know, the cycle was, 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 wasn't straightforward. But uh, I have a vivid recollection of, of that gig and playing Simply Be and seeing this happen to the audience. The music video for Simply Be was shot when we did a little tour of the Maldives. I think it was in 2010. And the amazing thing about those gigs was that uh, the event organizers had invited us to come with our families. And after we played the gig, we had seven days to just chill in this wonderful resort on one of the, one of the islands there. And uh, so, yeah, it was incredible. It was, it was a week of just relentless relaxation. And uh, our uh, good friend of ours, Vijay Venugopal, was along with us and he, was, he, was, he used to work with the band back then. And he was busy with his camera shooting us horsing around. Uh, and that, that's essentially what became the video. It, it, was, it is, in a sense, uh, uh, a lot of simply being. And uh, in this time right now, when we're all locked down and, and getting a little fried in the head, it's a, it's a great set of memories to have. Uh, so, yeah, and a great philosophy, again, <laughs> to, to reminisce on. When we play live these days, um, we start with an intro that's uh, a bit of a competition. Uh, it ends up being a, a test of, of breath control between Tony and myself. And uh, I, I crush the competition every time. I mean, every now and then I make it look like Tony wins because it just makes for a, uh, an interesting element of drama for the audience. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it injects even more fun into the song. Man, I, it's, you can tell we're really sort of missing this playing live thing, right? But yeah, that's, that's the story uh, behind Simply Be. Um, stay in the moment, guys and girls. Stay safe in your heads and we'll see you on the other side. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do that. Uh, there's links to all the, all the videos and where you can listen to the song in the description box below. And uh, yeah, catch you around. If your time has not yet come, then don't be late. But don't you be late. And if you start.